Hi, I'm Sean from Go Big Borrow Go Home. And today, uh, one moment. <coughs> today, we're going to take a 475 line bot of these pumpkins. In a lot of videos I've seen, people have taken the 44 Magnum, the 454 Casul, and even the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum to see how many, how many pumpkins they can penetrate. But nobody's done it with the 475 line bot as far as I know, so today we're going to do that. And I'm going to use hard cast bullets. We're going to use 425 grain bullets going at 1,350 feet per second. And in a mass versus velocity, we're also going to use 355 grain bullets going at right around 1655. So, without further ado, let's load up and let's see how many pumpkins we can get through with the 475 line ball. So we've got the BFR and 475 line ball. Uh, this is a hand load. It's a cast performance 425 grain uh, long flat nose gas check. It's a hard cast bullet. So it's meant for penetration. I have chronic these and can verify 1351 is the average velocity. So let's see how many pumpkins we get through. All right, let's load up and go. Get a wow, that that was a little unexpected. I'll be honest, my brother said he thought it would go through five. I said I thought it was going to go through six. Ashley said she thought it was going to go through five and stop in six. But the 425 grain, 475 line bob bullet went through all ten. So come closer, let's take a close look at what we got. The initial hole right here. And then if we come over here, it came out right here. You can see it exiting the first pumpkin, going into the second, exiting the second, going into the third, exiting the third right there. Can you see it? Yeah, look at that. And then going into the fourth, exiting the fourth, going into the fifth, leaving a pumpkin seed there. If you can see that, that's pretty grisly. Yeesh. And then uh, exiting the fifth, going into the sixth. Right here, we got a nice... Whoa, hold up there. Now, if everybody could just take a moment and look at the lower left-hand side of the screen, what you're going to notice is there is a little bullet mark. It's down here on the lower left-hand side of the screen, right here. This isn't important necessarily for our 425 grain test, but you'll see it does come up later with the 355 grain bullet, and I wanted to show here that it already exists before we started that test. Continuing. Nice little blowout again, exiting the 6th, going into the 7th, exiting the 7th, going into the 8th here on the side, coming out here, going into number 9, coming in through number 9, going into number 10, and exiting number 10. I'm really surprised. I thought 10 pumpkins would be plenty to catch the bullet, but 10 pumpkins apparently isn't enough, and I should have bought more. 10 pumpkins. It went all the way through and then lodged in our berm. So that is just incredible. So, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to try the 355 grain cast bullet. Let's see if we can catch that one. We're going to turn the pumpkin sideways so that they have a, a fresh side. We'll see how that turns out. All right, so that was impressive. The 425 grain cast performance, hard cast uh, flat point went all the way through, all 10 pumpkins, and still kept going. Seriously, when you're shooting big bars, you got to make sure you have a good backstop. This is why. Now what we're going to try is an Oregon Trail 355 grain bullet. This is also a hard cast bullet. It is a wide flat nose gas check, so it has a bigger me plat. So it's going to have more surface actually impacting at penetration point. The difference here is that instead of going 1350, this is rocketing through the air at a uh, chronograph verified 1657 feet per second. So this is a big difference, you know, we're going with big mass versus big speed. Let's see how it does. All right, so loading up here.
Woo. I don't think that went through all of them this time. Let's go check it out. All right, so we had a much different outcome this time. The, the, the bullet did not go all the way through. So let's see what we did. Come closer, let's take a look at the, disc, the damage. We actually have a lot more damage up front from the impact velocity. You can see, look at this. The other one was just a little hole. If you don't remember, it looked like this. That's what the 355 did. And the exit wound is terribly huge. Here it is going into the second pumpkin. Ugh. And then, let's move this for a moment. There it is. Here's the uh, exit wound on the second pumpkin. And it went into the third right here. And it came out, once again, big exit wound. So went into the fourth, kind of getting down low. Hope we didn't end up in the table. And then exited the fourth. Went into the fifth end. Came out the fifth pumpkin. This pumpkin number six. It went into pumpkin number six. Didn't come out. Didn't come out of pumpkin number six. So, time to do a little surgery. Uh, woo. Whoa. Oh boy. Woo. So where did we go in and where did we exit? That's what I know. Uh, there was the entrance. It's got to be down here somewhere. Unless. Is that it there? Maybe it did exit. Maybe. Ah, I don't think so. Well, I think it, ah, no, it is. There it is. Ah, <laughs> look at that bullet, it's so flat. Look at that. 355 grain, 475 line baw, flat nose gas check, Oregon Trail. It went through one, two, three, four, five pumpkins and stopped in the sixth. So, um, we're all kind of about right there. I said I thought it was going to go through six, stop in the seventh, so I was wrong. But Ashley and my brother both said it's going to go through five and stop in six, and it did. So there you have it, guys. Mass versus velocity. Mass won and went all the way through when you had the high velocity and the, the smaller bullet. Now the smaller bullet said, no way. <laughs> and it got stopped after just six pumpkins. So, we all now know the next time we're going on a hunting trip and we need massive penetration, what we need. The only question really left is now, what do I do with all these pumpkins? Hmm, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh yeah. Ready? Yep. Aim, fire.